Sutina Amazing. This video is all about planets, Mercury. Mercury has a magnetic field which protects the planet from the sun's solar wind. Mercury has a tenuous layer of hydrogen, helium, oxygen, sodium, calcium and potassium. It's not stable but a constant flow of these atoms. Mercury is a difficult planet to observe, but you can see it with your own eyes when the sun has just set or is about to rise. At its closest point, Mercury gets to within 46 million kilometers and then it branches out to 70 million kilometers from the sun. Now that Pluto is no longer a planet, Mercury takes the record for the most eccentric orbit. Mercury is so close to the Sun so Hubble can't look at it. The solar light would overwhelm Hubble and damage optics and electronics. Venus If you could stand on the surface of Venus, you would experience 92 times the pressure you have on Earth. Temperatures on Venus can rise to 460 degrees Celsius. The size of Venus is only 650 kilometers less than the size of Earth and the mass of Venus is 81.5% the mass of the Earth. Until the Americans and Soviets sent their first spacecraft to study Venus up close, people used to think Venus was tropical. Venus rotates in a clockwise direction. Mars Wolf Valleys is one of the oldest valleys on Mars. It was formed in and subsequently covered by layer rocks. Mars has the tallest mountain in the solar system. Olympus Mons rises up 27 kilometers above the surrounding plains. Phobos orbits Mars at such a low altitude that it's going to be eventually torn apart by the gravity of Mars.
Mars has water. It might not have oceans, but NASA's spacecraft detected huge deposits of water underneath the surface in the form of ice. Jupiter Because Jupiter is spinning so rapidly, the planet has flattened out a little and is bulging at its equator. A century ago, the Great Red Spot measured 40,000 kilometers across, but it's shrinking. It's currently half that size. The Great Red Spot on Jupiter is one of its most familiar features and it looks like the spot has been around for almost 350 years. Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system. Jupiter's magnetic field is 14 times as strong as Earth. All those beautiful whirling clouds and storms you see on Jupiter are only about 50 kilometers thick. Saturn Saturn appears as one of the five planets visible with the unaided eye. The first astronomers thought the rings of Saturn were moons. Saturn has only been visited four times by spacecraft, determining the rotation speed of Saturn was very difficult to do. Astronomers agreed on a day of 10 hours, 32 minutes and 35 seconds. Sometimes the Saturn's rings are fully open, but other times we see the rings edge on. It looks like they have disappeared. Jupiter has 66 discovered moons, but Saturn is a close second with 60. Uranus Uranus has 27 known moons, all of which are named after characters from the works of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. Uranus was the first planet discovered in the modern age. Summer on Uranus lasts one long day, 42 years. Uranus was the first planet discovered after the invention of the telescope. A day on Uranus is only about 17 hours. Astronomers think that the rings of Uranus are very young and properly formed relatively recently and not with a planet. Uranus has the second most traumatic set of rings in the solar system. The rings of Uranus are very dark. Neptune
Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system. Imagine a hurricane with winds that go up to 2100 kilometers per hour. Pluto's orbit is elliptical. There are periods when it's closer to the sun. So technically, Neptune is the most distant planet. Voyages to amazing photographs of Neptune might be all we get for decades. There are no firm plans to return to Neptune. There's no way you could actually stand on the surface of Neptune without just sinking in. There are many cold places in the solar system, but one of the coldest is the surface of Neptune's moon, Triton. Neptune has only been visited once. Voyager 2 made its flyby on 25th August 1989. Neptune is the coldest planet in the solar system. Temperatures on Neptune can dip down to minus 221.4 degrees Celsius. The gravity of Neptune is only 17% stronger than Earth's gravity. That's actually the closest to Earth's gravity in the solar system. Neptune has 17 times the mass of Earth, but is also 4 times larger. The only spacecraft has ever visited Neptune was NASA's Voyager 2, which visited the planet during its grand tour of the solar system.